Hey everyone, uh, so in front of you is the Lanley Lamborghini Evo OE11. Uh, I apologize for strong light reflection, but the window is tinted on these, so it does reflect light directly. Um, I'm going to quickly go over this case, and we're going to talk about how to replicate it since you can't buy it anymore. Uh, this case did launch a couple weeks ago, and it kind of sold out immediately, and they're kind of scalped secondhand. So let's quickly go over uh, copying the exterior and duplicating the screen, which is probably the most important part because uh, anybody else can just put on some carbon fiber wrap on the outside, right? Um, so I've already done it to a white one, uh, my white O11 Evo RGB build. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I did, okay? So uh, on the original case, for those that don't know, uh, it uses carbon fiber sheets uh, for this front. This is actually a slab of carbon fiber. It's about, I don't I want to say about two millimeters thick. And the bottoms are just, you know, compressed sheets and then laid on. Uh, there's a whole production process video from Lee and Lee. So it's actually real carbon fiber. It's not just a wrap. And uh, when we go to the back and the inside, I'll show you the other uh, unique items about this case. On the side of the case, you will get a Lamborghini badge collab kind of icon with the number serial of yours, uh, not serial, but the number that yours is. It says uh, mine is 2555 out of 6498. I can guarantee you there's more than 6500 because uh, those who got samples um, got 0000, uh, which is what most a lot of manufacturers do. They just put triple zeros, quadruple zeros for whatever sample versions. So this is one of the special items on the side. And then we're going to move on to the interior and the rear differences. So moving on to the rear, you'll notice that the, the screws are a little different. I don't know how well it's going to come across, but instead of the standard um, kind of just white or uh, silver or black screw, you get a black screw with a yellow collar, which is not a big deal. That's easy to replicate. And you also get uh, these two buttons, CPU, GPU, and color. Uh, these are buttons to change the screen. Okay, you can change it from monitoring your CPU or GPU, and you can change the color of the Lamborghini gauges. Um, we're going to go into how to pretty much take all of that from the existing Lanly software. Okay, so let me show you guys the screen. Okay, so this is the screen inside. Uh, for those that don't know, this screen is essentially this. Um, I don't know how well it's going to come across. It's this. It's identical. It's the exact same screen. In fact, the software is identical. So what Lian Li did was, um, there's a company called uh, Turks, uh, T-U-R-Z-X. I'll put links for the screen at the bottom. Uh, I've used their screens because they're, they come with a controller that's USB based. So I've used that in Hyperion 1, Hyperion 2, etc. many of them. But I don't use the included software because I have my own Python version that I prefer to use. Okay, but nonetheless, uh, they essentially took this, bought the screens from this manufacturer and then remapped some hard buttons onto the controller to switch CPU, GPU, and the color backgrounds. So what we can do is we can download the software from Lian Li, we can extract the themes and apply it to this screen, and I'll show you guys how that's done. So this is my white one. Um, it's a bit bright. <laughs> I did wrap it in white uh, carbon fiber wrap. Uh, matte. Um, it's kind of hard to see because white carbon fiber has always been kind of hard to see. Uh, but you'll notice I do have the mirror film-ish, right? And I have the Lamborghini icon like the other one, All right? So this is the factory one, right? You can see that first light. Mine reflects light a little bit less and I'm going to Y. Um, as for those that are curious about what Lamborghini, where did I get a Lamborghini sticker or something like that, I can show you right away. So the sticker you see at the bottom, the Squadra Corsa, that is um, a, actually an original sticker. Uh, this is from the original Lamborghini stickers. Uh, these are sold, they used to be sold from Lamborghini, and they're kind of out of stock, but you can buy them from Summit Racing, they're like $15, guys. You get a couple of them. So you get an official sticker that also has a resin cover on it. It's actually nicer than the actual one on the Lian Li by quite a bit. Um, and then for the film, what you're going to do is you're gonna buy, you know, privacy tint essentially. Um, I have chrome on mine, right? I have a silver chrome, uh, which results in this look. If you want the Lian Li look, uh, where it's darker, you have just to buy a darker chrome, 
Okay, I'll put links for these in the bottom to Amazon. They're cheap, they're like $10 a roll. Um, so what you wanna do is, if you have a black case, I would highly suggest you use a silver tint uh, because it's gonna be a lot easier to see inside, uh, even, even when it's not lit up. If you just don't care and you really want that hidden look, then go with the darker color. But I think the lighter color works better with both the white and the black version of the case. Okay, that's just my opinion. Now, you'll also notice I have the screen as well. Um, so let's move into that part. Now I have the camera pointed at the inside the computer case and I'm running a screen record at the same time. Okay, so you're gonna come to the uh, Lamborghini website. You're gonna download this right here. Okay, and that will give you the five inch uh, display driver and the software itself. Okay, so when you download it, it's gonna come out like this. Um, it's gonna be called Lamborghini something. And then when you run it, it's gonna create that. So right now, let me see, it's actually not running. So here, uh, but I wanna show you guys, this installs in C uh, program files, might be programming program files. No, it's six, okay, Lamborghini. And if I come into this folder, uh, you have the Lamborghini app, which is what the shortcut is for. And once you load that software, it's gonna minimize. And if I open it, you see there's not much adjustment that can be made. Okay, this is what Lian Li comes with. Okay, so you can do auto start, etc. But that's not the important part. So now if you buy this, uh, I'm just gonna go, let's just Google Turks. I Googled it before, so it's coming up. All right, so you notice this thing is not new, okay? So it's called Turks Monitor. They sell it on eBay. I'm, not, they, I'm sorry, they sell it on Amazon, etc. So they got a 3.5, a five inch, and this is the one you're gonna buy, okay? But you can get it on Amazon. I'll put the links below. And then they have a 8.8, which I use quite often. So when you download their driver, you will get this folder called 5.5 inch, okay? Uh, I'll put a link to their Google Drive so you don't have to go hunt for it either. Okay, so you'll notice right away that in the official Lamborghini uh, folder and the driver folder, you'll notice we kind of have the same items, right? Because it is exactly the same screen, okay? You remember the software I showed you guys? Okay, so good. So now we're gonna come in fonts, right? We're gonna grab all of these fonts. We're gonna copy them over. And I continue. So we copied all the, let's do this all items. Um, oh, oops, we shouldn't have done that. Okay, that's okay, whatever. Um, ideally you wanna copy, not move like I did. Okay, so then you're gonna come into theme, right? And you're gonna copy all of these themes. I've already done that. So you're gonna get some uh, replace. Yeah, so I'm just gonna replace, okay. Whatever, you're gonna copy all these themes over. You're gonna go into video. Now, video is actually all the backgrounds. You see, I've copied that over already. Now, by default, the software does give you a lot of backgrounds like, you know, an EVO one, et cetera. And these are essentially what you're seeing in the background on the screen, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm, instead of using the Lamborghini software from Lian Li, I'm gonna launch this one, okay? So it's the same thing. Just to make sure the other one's closed. Come on task bar, let me exit the software, okay? So I exit the software, and now I'm gonna launch this one, okay? You'll notice that it once it launches, you'll see it's the exact same thing. Okay, it's gonna read some information. And look, there you go, Lambo theme, right? And uh, if we come to device, you can have more options, like when you want it all, if you can have play video, et cetera, like your internal image. These things have also have an SD card on these screens, so you can load things onto the SD card. So you don't even have to have, let's say, if I were to come to internal video, let's just do SD card video, and I do an upload. Um, I can have, let's say it play, need to cover, yeah, sure. It can cover, uh, okay, it's too big. Um, but you can pick a video, you can pick an image, so you don't actually have to have the Lambo thing going all the time. All right, and you can come to theme edit, and if I load a theme, like, I come back here and I go to themes, I can load one of these, which is the one of these Lamborghini themes. Uh, you'll notice that it loads a little bit off, but you can always just move one of these things over. Um, is it this one? No, that's this, that's this right here. But you can see, you can just pick the right item, move it around. You can even add additional data. For example, if you want your up and download speed, I can go add element. Um, I'll put uh, 
you know, um, I don't know. Uh, let's see, upload speed, right? And I could put that here or something. So you can add even more functionality than what the Lian Li one has, right? Uh, you can, I'm just not gonna save this. And uh, if I go back to home, uh, when I set background, I'm essentially going to go to the uh, video folder and these different backgrounds, right? Will give me a different, okay. The text got thrown off a little bit. Uh, actually, no, Never mind. Sorry, set backgrounds. So essentially they've tied the videos to the themes. I get it. So you don't have to do it yourself. But you can see I have all the different colors here. Uh, if I wanted to say, let's say go with reddish, yellow, right? And then I can also adjust the brightness of the screen. I can flip it upside down, you know, whatever I want. And you just hit run and uh, just wait for it to sync, right? And then you'll notice that now, okay, so it's a little bit off. But I think that's because just they're using a different version. You just have to move it, like go to theme editor and then move it over a little bit, all right? But you can see that minimal effort, there you go. So this is essentially what Lanny has used, right? So yeah, very generic, you know, easy to replicate. So with that said, that pretty much covers on how to copy the most important aspect, which is the screen. Because the other just carbon fiber stuff, that's just easy. Uh, and the stickers and the film, you know, I don't know if you guys have done the PCMR equivalent mod. Like the PCMR edition of this case was, of the original dynamic, was one of the dumbest things alive because all it was was chrome tint. Uh, and they were charging people and, you know, and people were buying it secondhand for absorbent prices when it was just tint. <laughs> all right. Uh, if you don't want tinted yourself, you know, take it to a shop, have them tint it for you. Um, It'll do a spectacular job and, you know, you can even get different colors, you know, you guys can go crazy. Go with forged carbon wrap, go with, uh, you know, red tinted mirror, you know, whatever you want. And that th that is pretty much, you know, the exterior, which is easy to copy. Um, so as in terms of the Lanley Lamborghini case itself, um, I think the price point was about 300 bucks, which in honestly, if you bought a sheet of carbon fiber, uh, it would run you about 100 bucks uh, and you can make the top panels, you can make you know, the, the bottom. Essentially, what I'll show you guys is, uh, if we look at the, sorry guys, we're just doing this on the on the run here. Uh, so if we look at the top panel per se, right? Okay, so if we look at the top panel, this is the top panel. Uh, hopefully you can see some of the carbon fiber, maybe you can't. But the bottom side, this is just applied on with adhesive. This bracket that helps retain it onto the onto the case itself. So this, this adhesive, if you take a heat gun, you could remove it. And if you remove it, um, this tab will be the harder part, right? The rear metal tab is the harder part. Uh, but you can get a carbon fiber sheet uh, at this thickness or approximately this thickness, and then just remove the adhesive, put it onto that, and you also would have real carbon fiber. Now you will have to do the resin polishing or you know the clear coating, whatever, all that uh, separately on your own, but once again, it just goes back to, you can replicate all of this. Um, now, do you really wanna go through all that effort to save $100? Um, I don't know, because this screen comes in about $50, $60. So the Lambo, you know, it, it's a good, it's fairly priced. It really is fairly priced. Now, uh, for those of you that already own the case or couldn't get the case, you know, this is one way to kind of replicate that look. So with that said, thanks for watching. Stay safe, take care.